Glastonbury. Come on. I'm about to introduce you to Juliet. She uh, she looks after this sanctuary here in Glastonbury, where people come to find themselves. They come to heal themselves, and most importantly, they just come to breathe in this this location because Glastonbury it's, it's a very sacred spiritual place where it's a lot of history here and uh, people are drawn to it from all over the world because of the rich history it has and most importantly because it's just a beautiful place and uh, that's why we have our music festival here and uh, that's why I'm going to introduce you to Juliet and she's going to teach you you guys why um, the healing properties of food are so important I want to start about the chickens because um, when I was going through a stage in my life where I was, I was worried about eating animals and the effect it would cause on me, when I've started realising now it's just how they're looked after that uh, makes a difference to how, you know, what we take into our body. Well the chickens are the most maligned animals on the planet, especially the way they're uh, kept in very small cages and uh, really mistreated so that they have no feathers and they have no beaks and they're, they're just really, it's awful what happens to them. So we are all for being really kind to chickens and these chickens are so well kept and looked after and um, it makes a great difference to the quality of the eggs when you eat them. Yeah. But the primary importance for us is the care of the chickens. Uh, but what you put into your body is um, going to affect you profoundly. So if you put food from an uh, animal that's been abused then it is going to cause you suffering as well. It's going to affect your health. More importantly, the, if the chicken is fed pesticides, food covered with pesticides or GMO, then, then that is taken into your body, it's going to affect your metabolism and your health. So our chickens are very loved and we, we hatch them ourselves. Um, so here we have an orchard, um, soft fruit, plums you can see here on the tree, um, apples, pears, cherries, Oh yes, we've got three hives over here, and um, we've had them for several years. The importance of bees as pollinators can't be underestimated, because if the bees go, I think it, Einstein said we've got about four years left on the planet. Really? And at the moment, the uh, global spraying of food crops uh, using Monsanto's product, Roundup, that contains the lethal toxin glyphosate, just a herbicide, is killing all the bees and butterflies, and the uh, monarch butterflies are now going extinct as well for that problem. But bees, particularly if we kill them off, uh, we're going to lose the possibility of having any food on the planet, because they're the over. pollinators, they're the primary pollinators. The grand design the gardens, there are three huge 13 metre across circles, and they're interlocking, and it's this forms the symbol of healing and they represent the different, different elements. This is air circle here. It's hard to see at this level that they're circles but when you look from a satellite photograph down you can see that there are three circles. So this is air circle, that's fire circle, that's earth circle and over there we have the, um, a spring, and over there we have a spring as well, and that represents the water element. And you've got the wind, so oh, it's fine. And we've got, we've got the wind, yes. So it's re representing the, f the five elements, obviously, because the love comes from you looking after it, if you say that. The love comes from everyone, and that's why it's called Healing Gardens, and, the, and um, our strap line is growing in love. Yeah. For the co-op, the values are that we treat everything with respect, and we garden with total respect for every living creature so we don't apply any pesticides we we don't damage anything here we just garden the property functions in a way that everybody brings their own qualities to it and do what they want to do and they don't have to do what they don't want to do and when we work together then we can create abundance for everybody it works doesn't it it does yes yeah. yes i love that and, uh, yeah